Good morning. Um, must be day 19 of blog. It is, it's the 19th. Because today's the day that my son's coming home. So I'm really looking forward to seeing him and his girlfriend. They're coming for Christmas. Um, because he's at university so I haven't seen him for a few months so really looking forward to that um it's another wet and grey windy day <laughs> so I feel like I'm on a loop of constantly saying it's cold it's wet it's grey but it is what it is right let's see what today brings so I thought I'd do the next 10 questions of the Christmas tag um here goes what's your favorite holiday song well, I love the cheesy ones. So I love Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas, and Wham, Last Christmas. They're my faves. Uh, do you usually put a star or an angel at the top of the tree? Usually it's a star. The one in my shop's got an angel, but um, I'd go for a star every time. What's the best gift you ever got from your parents? Um, I can think of two things that I absolutely loved. One was, now that's what I call music, the first ever double LP and secondly was a pair of roller skates I still remember them um, red and blue Zodiac toys roller skates with the big stopper at the front loved those because we lived at the top of a hill of the cul-de-sac and so if you stood at the top and then just kept going with momentum straight towards the main road <laughs> that's what you call fun when you're a child um, do you own an ungl ugly Christmas sweater. Well, this is the only Christmas sweater that I own and I've been wearing it for a week and I'm gonna wear it till Christmas because it's Christmas time. Um, so I'll let you decide if it's ugly or not. Um, do you open Christmas presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas day? As a child at home with my parents, I um, we opened presents on Christmas Eve because we followed the sort of more German tradition. Um, but since having children of my own, I made the decision that I wanted to do it the other way because I always liked the idea of the mystery of Father Christmas coming in the night and all that sort of thing. So I have changed to the English tradition, although I think my brother still does it on Christmas Eve. Um, have you ever kissed anyone under the mistletoe? Yes. Um, do you go to church for midnight mass? No. <laughs> These ones are easy. Would you prefer it to snow on Christmas Day or be sunny? Definitely sunny. I'm a sunny person. Sunshine all the way. Um, have you ever had your picture taken with Santa? No, why would I? That's just creepy. Have you ever re-gifted a present given to you? Yes. Because um, you, you get some gifts that you're never going to use Christmas. And uh, when the kids were at primary school, they were always Mother's Day. You had to take a gift in that then they would sell on. The kids would buy back. I don't know. Anyway, you'd end up paying for a gift twice. <laughs> so the stuff you didn't want for Christmas would go to the school for Mother's Day. There we go. Next 10. That was easy. I've had a few customers in and um, one nice sale. So that's good so far today. I've had a lady brought me some scarves, some, uh, I think they were her mother-in-laws or something like that. So I've got a whole box. There's 15 in total. I'm not going to show you them all, but these vintage scarves. Um, I usually just sell scarves at like three pounds each, the ones that aren't special, but I'm thinking that I'm going to start listing them online because some of these are really quite nice. Um, there's only, I've had a quick look through. I could only see one that's silk. The rest are polyester. Um, but yeah, it just shows you the variety of things that people bring in to the shop. Um, so I just need to work out what's the best way to photograph them to get them listed online. Any tips? Gratefully received. It's half 12 in the afternoon <clears throat> and it's so dark. I'm sorry, I did say I'd stop saying but I'm going to show you. It's about 1.15. Um, I've got my calendar out and I'm starting to work out my days for January, thinking ahead. Um, I'm going to be doing less hours in the shop. And so I am <clears throat> looking forward to that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do Thursday, Fridays definitely in the shop. 
and Saturdays when I can. Saturdays, um, I often have to cover my husband's shop because he has a season ticket for his favourite football team. So I cover his shop when he's away. Um, so it doesn't mean that I'll be open very few days in January, but I need some time off. And even when I'm not in the shop, I'm still working. So um, I thought while I'm here, I'll do the next 10 of those um, Christmas tag questions. So the first one is, do you consider yourself a Grinch? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Um, does your family drink alcohol at Christmas? Well, um, <clears throat> my family, as in my mum and dad and my family, that side of it, no, we don't really drink alcohol. Um, no, my dad... It's really difficult to know how much is too personal, <laughs> okay? My dad was an alcoholic, so drinking at home we didn't do because that's just not what you do when you with somebody who's a recovering alcoholic um but my in-laws and that side of the family drink i have actually given up alcohol now so i won't be drinking this christmas um have you ever built a gingerbread house i have and i actually showed a picture of it in one of my vlogs can't remember which so you'll just have to go back and watch them all from the start all over again thank you um what's the worst present you've ever been given hmm <clears throat> my dad used to make great efforts to get us all presents but sometimes he would get it horribly wrong and um one year he bought me a he bought me and my two sister-in-laws the same cerise pink scarf with a big sort of knitted rose on it and a matching hat yeah that one went straight to the charity shop do you shop in shops or online both I don't think you can live in this day and age and not buy online, but I do try and buy stuff in the shops as well. Do you like surprises or pick your own? I love surprises. Yeah, I do love surprises. One year my husband got me um, booked to be a course, a watercolour watercolor painting course, and bought me got me all the paints and brushes and all that sort of thing. That was lovely. Um, as a child, did you help decorate the tree? We, d I did. I always helped decorate the tree. We used to do it on Christmas Eve, and I would help decorate it. Even though I was bitter that we couldn't have a proper tree, I would still decorate it. <laughs> what does your family normally eat for Christmas? Isn't it just the same stuff everybody eats? Turkey, pigs in blankets, um, gammon, roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, stuffing, all that. When was the last time you built a snowman? Oh, I bet I was about 12 or 13. Because when it snows, I don't I go out. <laughs> so when the kids were younger and it snowed, I'd send my husband out with the kids because I don't like the cold. What's your favourite Christmas film? Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone. Um, and Love Actually and The Holiday, which I watched last night again. <laughs> Okay, so that was the next 10 questions. I'll speak to you soon. So as you'll have seen in one of my earlier vlogs, I sent some Avon products to my friend Bex, the new distillery vegan range of skincare. Um, and she's done a little review and I'm going to pop that in now. Hi, it's me again, Bex, uh, reviewing your um, vegan products from Avon. Um, so those of you who either have seen the first bit or just want a reminder, so there were three products that I was testing. Um, one of them was a cleanser. So this is from the distillery collection. It's a clean break cleanser. Um, at first I thought it was a bit extravagant. Um, actually, I haven't used it that much even though i've been using it twice a day it's not actually gone down as much as i thought it would it's around the 20 pounds mark which is quite expensive but i did love how clean my face felt quite often if i use um anything else to cleanse my face and then use a toner afterwards there's still some residue on the cotton board um on the cotton wool ball i tried it with this and there was nothing on the cotton wool ball afterwards so i'm quite impressed with it i Again, it depends what your price ranges are for um, for products. This one, as I say, is around the £20 mark, but I thought it was really good. And it might be the kind of thing that you use once or twice a week for a deep down clean. But yeah, I, I would recommend that. 
The second one that I tested was the C Shot. Now this one is just a vitamin C powder that you add into your um, your moisturizer or serum. It's okay. You put two sort of shots of it uh, and mix it in with your serum or your moisturizer. Personally, I thought it was a bit of a faff. It, it's a bit gimmicky. I would rather buy um, a serum, a moisturizer that's already got vitamin C in it. So although this is delivering pure vitamin C, you can pretty much get that, I'm sure, with serums or moisturizers. However, if you had a serum that you've always used and that you absolutely loved, that had never um, had vitamin C in it, then it is a good way to add vitamin C into your routine without having to change your major product. So I can see a use for it. It's not for me. Um, and the third one was the Purify Facial Oil. I am a big fan of facial oils, particularly for nighttime. Um, and, and this one was really nice. It's not over oily. Quite often if I put a facial oil on, I, I'm kind of like afterwards as it kind of blocks you know smears your eyes and um, this one I found didn't do that and um, it says to use four or five drops I'm like a person so uh, but yeah again around the 20 pounds mark thought it was well worth it um yeah did the job and I'm sure actually you're thinking you're not pex you're a younger sister you guys <laughs> but yeah so there you go um of the vegan products tried from avon two a definite yes one if you need to but actually i thought the products were pretty good who knows maybe i'll review something again in the future bye so it's advent time again number 19 let's see what i've got 19 what else Sweet dreams. Mm. Intriguing. Sleep together calming spray. I've got my glasses. No. Sleep together spray. No. <laughs> okay, so I found some glasses. It says, sleep together, calming spray. Relax together, sleep better together for busy days and brighter mornings. Diffuse a sense of calm in the evening and at bedtime to encourage a better night's sleep. It's still really tiny writing. So I guess it's just one of those lavender pillow things. Yes. Well, we could all do with a better sleep. I'm all right getting to sleep. It's just I wake up at four in the morning. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. Likes, comments, subscribe would be lovely. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.